Okay, while Rose is in Drop the phone. Okay, while Rose is in Hawaii, I'm here at our she's calling me. All right, third time's a charm. Okay, while Rose Jesus Christ, she's calling again. All right, Rose is calling me every three seconds, making sure I'm doing this video real quick. While she's in Hawaii having fun, I'm here cleaning this place up. She's actually got Mama Jovi here helping out. So doing the actual cleaning, deep cleaning. Cleaning everything's brand new because our kids, you know, made everything a little bit used. So I'm packing up all of our stuff, putting it out there, putting it in boxes, cleaning up the house, making it a brand new. Boom. Got this room basically cleaned, just waiting. Bathroom's almost done, so final touches here pretty soon. I gotta run to work here in a minute. But yeah. Packing up everything back in the garage. All the sheets and blankets. So I won't be able to do it today, but like I said, we got everything packed up. And tomorrow, the next day, I'll be able to jump, dump it all back in our garage at our main house. So we'll get all this stuff out of the way, make this place clean and usable. So Jolie's gonna help us out with these Airbnbs, help us keep them maintained while we're gone. And also Rose had it set up to where if we go on any vacations or while we're out there, we're gonna send her out there to help us out. Rose really wants to go to Japan, so we're gonna go to Japan. You wanna go to Hawaii? Yeah, Rose told me in October. In October, yeah. 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 You met her? You, you and her, uh, um, they're going to uh, go to uh, Japan. Yeah. And they're going to take the kids. You excited for Japan? Yeah. Or are you excited for Hawaii? You've never been there? Yeah, and in uh, 2013, I've been there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah, yeah so nice. <laughs> you miss those kids? Yes. Yeah. My niños. <laughs> niños. Niños. But yeah, we got everything cleaned up here, packed up. Well, and just, we got to take some pictures and get this all done. So I'm going to get back to work. We are minimalizing now, so I already threw out a large box full of stuff, but we definitely got some trash bags full of boxes and other trash that we're getting rid of so minimalizing our life moving there with shirts off our backs and three extra suitcases full of other stuff but it's simple so i did a thing Something that I noticed is that as black women, there's so much emphasis put on our hair. People care, society cares so much about hair that is not on their own head. So I decided the best for me was to shave it off completely and it really goes with my simplistic lifestyle that I'm trying to live right now. It feels very, very free. What you see is what you get. There's no distractions. It's just purely me. Either you like it or you don't. This is me completely naked. And I actually love it. I know it. you guys are wondering how my husband feels about it because I did let you guys know that he is not a fan of short hair. Certainly not a fan of baldness. I feel like his biggest concern is me spending $2,000 on my hairstyle before. He does not like the fact that I wasted that money, but his stipulation was you shaved your head, you are not allowed to buy weaves or wigs at all whatsoever is what he said, and I'm okay with that. I know there will be a lot of opinions, but to be honest, I have come to the realization that opinions are like a double s holes everyone has one not many care about the next person's a double s hole i don't care about nobody else's a double s hole and i certainly don't care to see it you know so yeah people will have their opinions but i love it and that this is what makes me happy and i am comfortable in this i am so comfortable in my skin and honestly i feel more beautiful than ever like this I wake up, my hair is done. I don't have to, that's one less worry for me. I noticed that my scalp was so damaged after I shaved my hair. Oh my goodness. It was 
a lot it was scaly and like dandruff through the roof so there needs to be some correction that needs to happen and i kind of feel like it's nice before my hair grows back i can really focus on my scalp and learn how to take care of it so that when my hair does grow back now i know how to take care of my scalp underneath so many of you guys especially with nappy hair like myself you would be surprised when you shave that cotton off your hair you would be surprised how that scalp look underneath and oh my goodness to my surprise i was like wow maybe this is a really good thing that i did this i do feel like with this style i do my eyelashes need to pop so i will always be wearing eyelashes i don't have on any right now this completely like fits our new simplistic way of living that we are going for here in hawaii you guys know that we came here with two suitcases my husband went back to get three more that's for a whole family of six five suitcases okay so we're living incredibly simplistic and just off the land we went and to grandma rosie well we went to our grandma's house too you did <laughs> yeah so yeah long story um short this fits our simplistic way of living okay you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this short little update if you guys did please make sure you give it a thumbs up okay don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe if you're already subscribed thank you so much for rocking with us this far until next time y'all peace